Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to its latest update that is version 063. So on yesterday uh, it was started uh, rolling out to few of these uh, users via FOTA but still now I haven't got it via FOTA. So in this particular video we'll see how to download it manually and install it. So let's start with this. So firstly let me show you the version on which I am at this moment. So I am at uh, like on version 061. So just give me a minute. Okay. So here you can view the version number is 061 with the security patch of 5th February 2020. So in this particular video we will download it manually and update it. But before doing that process I need to verify few other things. So let me show you at this moment my camera to API is not enabled. So we will see whether after updating to 063 will it be uh, like a change to uh, limited full level 3 or anything else uh, apart to this at this moment the wide one certification is also showing L3 on version 061 now few users will say that brother at my side it is L1 why it's L3 at your side because they might not have updated their phone to Android 10 beta version and I had and after that I have got this particular uh, problem or I would say bug and in the same sense if you have already enabled camera to API in version 061 manually then when you will be installing 063 update it will be still be enabled so uh, using this approach I just want to show or when want to verify whether Asus has provided us uh, camera to API out of the box or not so for this I have already created like now we will be moving to the installation part that is how to download and so on. So for this I have already created a dedicated article on my official blog. So the URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below. So there are few things like this is a build number and it is basically a full update of 1.52 GB. I will also be creating another videos as well if I will find delta package or FOTA package. So stay tuned till then. Apart to this there is one important note it is only for Android Oreo users if any Android Oreo user want to directly jump to 063 they should at least be on version 340 with this particular method. Now according to uh, till now I have only able to get that these are the change log one is they have updated to the ap April 2020 security patch and updated the APN list. Now let's move to the uh, most important part that how to download just tap on here and afterward it will download the file in your download manager. Uh, sorry in download folder so you can check using any file manager so at this moment I am using this one so let me move to the download folder so to cut down the time I have already downloaded everything so whenever you will be tapping it uh, on this particular URL it will open a new tab or window and it will afterward directly uh, start downloading it so once you will be moving to your download folder just select this and afterward according to your file manager copy to your internal storage so this is the internal storage. So I have already done that part to cut down the time. Let me show you that as well. So that file is already in my internal storage. Now we are good to go with this uh, like rest, uh, installation part. But before that we have to restart our phone. So let me reboot my phone. And it will take nearly about 1 to 2 minutes to uh, set up back. So finally the phone has been restarted successfully. Now as soon as it has been restarted. The, uh, it has shown a prompt that system update file detected. And it was because we have kept that in the internal storage that's why it is showing us. So now we are good to go with the installation part just tap it here and afterward it will show you select package so it's showing version 063 that is the latest one. Just tap on ok and it will start preparing your update and as soon as it will complete the integrity check and all the other background check it will reboot your phone and installation process will uh, begin from that. So after preparing for the update or doing all the background check our phone has been rebooted now it will jump to the installation uh, screen where it will show system update installation and so on just wait for one to two seconds more. So finally it is showing installing system update. So now we have to just wait till the time this particular process will be completed and afterward we will reviewing where the camera to EP is enabled or not what's the status of white one and white one L1 certification and so on. So just stay, stay tuned till then. So finally the installation process has completed now our phone will be booted and it will take nearly about one to two minutes to settle down everything in the background as soon as it will be booted to the home screen uh, we'll continue with the uh, this remaining part or remaining steps. So finally the phone has been booted successfully to the home screen now it is showing uh, finishing system update as soon as this will be completed a prompt will be shown to you like system update system update successful. So now let's move to settings section and verify everything in terms of update and so on. So 
so for that let's move to about section and inside that android 9 so finally our security patch level has been updated to 5th april 2020 from 5th february 2020 and a part of this build number is also been updated to 063 now let's verify two things which we were discussing before installation as well let's to see hope finger cross where the camera to uh, api is i mean enable or not after this update so again discussing the same legacy uh, like i was on legacy on version 061 before installing this update and still so asus has not provided us any camera to api out of the box apart to this let's verify wide one certification hopefully it should be l1 no it is still l3 i'm not sure why asus is not able to resolve this minor bug but all in all so this particular update was just related to security patch and apn list apart to this we have also tested camera to a status of camera to api and wide one certification so still those are same which were in version 061 this was all from our side related to this particular video on how to download and install a full update manually on your asus zen for max pro m1 hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks